Namaste. It's Jackie, and we're here again to do some yoga together. So please take a moment to get yourself set up. If you have a yoga mat, you can um, place that out on the floor. If you don't have a yoga mat, just you want enough space where you can lie down on the floor. And please have enough room that you can stretch your arms all the way up over your head. So as you're taking a moment to get settled, close the door of the room that you're in. Just give yourself a little bit of space and time for your practice today so that you can do a little self-care. can take care of ourselves for a little bit with our yoga practice. <clears throat> so uh, and turn off your phones and things so that you can be um, just have this little bit of time for yourself. So today... Uh, it's a little rainy and gloomy, so we're going to start our practice standing up. may not be that way where you are today, but <clears throat> where I am, it's a little just the, the storm just came through. So we're going to start with a little bit of uplifting movement and standing. So if you can step your feet about a shoulder width apart, we're going to begin with this uh, swinging movement, our empty coat sleeves. So we let our arms <clears throat> begin to swing and wrap around and tap the back. I'm going to try to get a little tap along that uh, lower rib area where the kidneys are. A little stimulation to that kidney meridian. And it's a nice way to do some gentle movement for the spine. You can let your head turn. You can let your back heel rock up so that the hips turn a little bit. Just a little awakening breath. And then come to the center. Line up your uh, feet under your hips so your joints are stacked up. And we'll begin, as we often do, uh, some simple movement coordinating with the breath. And today we're going to take the arms out to the side and up. So as you inhale, next time breathe through your nose, let your arms float out to the side and up over your head and lift your chest and lift your eyes. You can spread your fingers. And as you exhale, let your arms float down, lower your eyes, hug your belly in on the exhale here. Inhale, lifting chest, arms, eyes. Exhale, letting your arms float down. Just starting to notice the sensations in your body. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, reach up. And exhale down. And then for the next moment or so, stand nice and tall but either soften or close your eyes and just begin to turn away from all the concerns and to-dos of your day. Begin to be more present and aware. So we've just begun to move a little bit. We've begun to notice our breath. And these things are to help us to be more present, to bring our energy and attention here for our practice. And you might even choose an intention for your practice today. So lately I've been um, working with kindness, and self-compassion, so maybe an intention, uplifting intention like that is helpful for you today. So <clears throat> with that idea of an intention for your practice today, bring your palms together in the prayer position at your heart. And then open your eyes if you had them closed. Please interlace your fingers here in front of your chest. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, turn your palms away and lengthen your arms up toward the ceiling. Inhale, get a little longer, and on your exhale, sway to one side. Pull your belly in as you do this little side bend. And then inhale, reach back up, maybe look up. Exhale, belly in as you do the bend to the other side. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale to the side. One more to the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, belly in. Now inhale up and release your fingers at the top and exhale your arms down by your sides. Take a moment to roll your shoulders and turn your head side to side. And then we're going to do that movement again with the hands behind the back. So you could clasp your hands behind your back and try to lengthen your arms this way. If that doesn't feel good for your shoulders, you can hold on to your wrists or your forearms. So clasping your hands or your forearms, take an inhale, lift your chest. Pull your navel in and on the exhale, sway to one side. You can push that opposite hip away. And then the slow inhale to come back up. So we're still breathing slowly. And then exhale the other way. As you inhale and lift, maybe you can pull your hands toward the wall behind you. And then exhale to the side. Inhale to the center. 
Exhale to the side. Inhale, center. And then you can release your arms. Again, some shoulder rolls, maybe turning your head. And then a couple of movements to, uh, we're going to wake up our legs a little bit. So the first one is going to be moving mountain. This is the one where we come up onto our toes with our breath. So in a similar way to what we did earlier when we lifted our arms up, please inhale your arms up over your head and let your heels float up off of the floor. And you should feel your legs quiver a bit. And then on the exhale, as you lower your hands down, let your heels lower slowly. So perhaps your heels touch when your hands touch your legs. Good. Do that again. Inhale. If your balance feels a little off, you can look at the floor or even step off of your yoga mat. And then exhale down. So being on a firmer floor can help with balance. This inhale, lift your arms up and your heels up. And on your exhale, as you stay, let your heels lower a little bit, lower your elbows, cactus arms, and then inhale back up with your heels and your hands. Exhale all the way down, letting your heels touch when your hands touch your legs. And again, this time we're going to stay two breaths and do our cactus arms. So inhale up, feel your legs shake. Exhale halfway down with your elbows and heels. Inhale, reach back up. You may notice that lifting your eyes makes the balance a little more challenging. Exhale, belly in. Slow inhale, lift your heels any amount. And then exhale all the way down. Good. One more time. This time we're going to do three breaths up there. So inhale, reach your arms up. Lift your heels any amount. Exhale, cactus arms, belly in. Lower your heels a little. Inhale through your nose. Let it lift you back up. Again, exhale. Inhale. And one more. Exhale, exhale, exhale. See if you can inhale up and pause for just a second at the top of your inhale this time. And then as smoothly as you can, coming down in control. So a little shake of the feet. So hopefully you feel a little work in your legs, maybe that little extension in your spine, a little feeling in your back. And then the next movement is going to be our chair pose. And in this movement, we still get to work the legs, get to stretch out the back a little bit. I like to use a yoga block between my knees for this pose. If you have one, it's a great tool. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. We're just going to have the feet hip-width apart. You place the block above your knees. You can do it the shorter way if you have shorter legs. And then I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my back. Taking your hands to the side body, take an in-breath, lift your chest. On the exhale, as you hug your belly in, sink down like you're going to sit back in a chair. So send your hips back, lean forward. You can slide your hands down the sides of your legs. And then pushing through your feet, rise back up on an inhale, lift your chest. Exhale down. Inhale, back up to standing. So this time we'll stay one breath and we'll see if we can uh, play with our arms. So please exhale down into your seat, bend your knees any amount. And on your inhale, lift your arms up, maybe shoulder height, maybe up beside your head. On the exhale, slowly lower your arms, your eyes, your belly draws in. And inhale back up to standing. This time we'll do it and we'll stay one breath like we did in our tiptoes. So exhale down, inhale, lift your arms, stay on the exhale, do cactus arms, pull your belly in, maybe even tuck the chin, inhale, lift your chest, lift your eyes and your arms, exhale, lower your arms all the way down, inhale, up to standing, good, two breaths this time, hopefully your legs are getting warm, exhale down into your chair. Inhale, lift your arms, your eyes. Exhale, cactus arms, belly in. You can draw the elbows back if you like. And then inhale, hands up. One more exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, your arms all the way down. Inhale to standing and take your block away and hopefully your legs feel a little bit warmed up. You can swing again just to shake that off. You might even pick up your feet and kick them. 
get a little movement. And then for the next part, we're going to come to the floor on hands and knees. So I like to pad my knees for this part. If you have a, t a blanket, a towel, or something to pad your knees, you know, make sure you're taking care of your joints. So coming down to all fours, using whatever support you need. We're going to stack up the joints here so that the shoulders are over the wrists and the hips are over the knees. Please inhale, lift your chest and eyes. And exhaling back to child's pose, pull your belly in so the back starts to round, lower your elbows, send your hips back, let your head bow, and then glide back up on your in-breath to tabletop. And again, exhale back. Inhale, lift. All right, we're going to move our legs on the next round. So exhale back, pulling in your navel. As you rise on the inhale, take your right leg back behind you. Flex the foot, lift your chest. Exhale, lower that knee down and fold back. And then we'll do the left leg. So inhale, rise up, lift your left leg, your chest. Exhale, smoothly back and down. No rushing. So this time, on the, as you lift your right leg, we'll add the opposite arm. So right leg back, left arm forward. And on your exhale, lower your hand and your knee down, smoothly fold back. Left leg, right arm as you inhale. Everything down, fold back as you exhale. Inhale, right leg, left arm. And then stay here, and on the exhale, put your foot down on the floor and push back through your heel. Notice how that levels out your hip. And then inhale, lift your foot back up. Now on the exhale, you can lower your toes back down or hold in place. And on the inhale, lengthen, lift the foot if you touched it down. And one more breath like that. Exhale, touch your toes down if you like or hold. Inhale, lengthen, lift your foot. And then exhale everything down to the floor and please fold back. And we'll do that on the other side. So left leg, right arm as you inhale. Hold on the exhale and touch your toes down. Get that feeling of stretch in the back of the leg and notice your hip levels out. And then inhale, lift your foot, lengthen your arm. And on the exhale, either hold or touch your toes back down. Pull your belly in. Inhale, lengthen, lift your foot if you touched it down. One more exhale, hold or touch your toes down. One more inhale, little lift. And then exhale everything down and fold back to child's pose. A moment to rest here. So you can be on your elbows. You could lower your head all the way down. Sometimes I'll put my hands under my forehead or use the yoga block under the forehead. That can be nice. You can rock a little bit. Noticing your breath, noticing how you feel, and maybe remembering that intention of kindness or self-compassion today. And then on an inhale, please push up. We're going to stand up on the knees. So again, some padding under the knees can be helpful here. You can do this standing on your feet if standing on your knees isn't so great for you. So please inhale your arms up over your head. You, you're welcome to bend the elbows on that lift if it's helpful for your shoulders. And exhale down. A little more extension in the spine. These uplifting movements today. Inhale. Exhale. Remember breathing slowly, moving slowly. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now we're going to add a twist. This one will be with the arms long. So we're going to take the right arm back first. So same on the inhale, both arms up. On the exhale, navel in, right arm back, left arm forward, look over that back shoulder if you can. And slow inhale back to the center, lift your arms up, lift your eyes up. And again, same direction, exhale. Back to the center, inhale, lift. Now exhale your arms all the way down, lower your eyes, pull in your belly. And this time we'll inhale the arms up and then on the exhale we'll twist to the other side. Now left arm back, right arm forward, turn your head, turn your eyes. 
Inhale, center and lift. Exhale to the left, belly in. Inhale, center and lift. Exhale, your arms down. Now this round, a variation. Inhale, your arms out to the side and up. And on the exhale, we're going to bring the, sweep the hands behind the back and bow forward like child's pose. So you might go down just a little bit, or you might lower your forehead all the way down to the floor. And then inhale, sweep your arms out to the side, rise up with a nice long spine, arms all the way up. And we'll do that two more times. So exhale, hands behind the back and bow any amount. If you can't get back up, bow less. Inhale, back up. And one more. Lift the chest, sweep the arms up. This exhale, you can just bring your arms down. Take a moment to move your shoulders, maybe even a little swinging here. And then if you bring your hands back down to the mat, we're going to do a little downward facing dog pose. So please tuck your toes under. And on your exhale, you can lift your hips up, pushing your hands down. Start with a little bend in your knees, and you can pedal out the backs of your legs. See how that feels for you today. Waking up the legs, hips, knees. So a couple of times we're going to go with our breath from tabletop to down dog. So with much control and a slow breath, inhale your knees down to the floor. Touch lightly, lift your chest. And exhale, pull your belly in and slowly push up to down dog. And again, inhale your knees to the floor. Lift your chest and eyes. Exhale, down dog. Inhale your knees to the floor. And then we're going to do a few of the upward dog movement. So exhale back to child's pose. And as you go back, move your hands forward and perhaps a little wider if you can. And on the inhale, as we shift the hips up, we're going to move them forward. Let the Elbows bend, let the chest and eyes lift. We're keeping the knees on the floor for this variation. And then exhale all the way back to child's pose. Again, it's another uplifting movement. Let's do that one again. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale. Watch your pets. Watch your cats and dogs. You see how many times a day they do these movements. Now inhale to tabletop and slide your hands right underneath your shoulders. And we're going to alternate between the down dog and the upward dog with the uh, child's pose in between. So I'll guide you. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, back to child's pose. Pulling in the navel here, inviting some kindness into your practice today. Inhale, lift your chest. Tuck your toes under and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, back to tabletop. Lift your chest and eyes. Exhale, back to child's pose. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Inhale to tabletop and shift your hips forward, upward dog. Bend the elbows a little. Pull your belly in as you exhale, all the way back to child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Slide your hands back up underneath your shoulders. Tuck the toes, belly in as you exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to your knees. Lift your chest and eyes. Exhale back to child's pose. Walk your fingers forward. Inhale up, upward dog. Little bend in the elbows here. Exhale back. We'll do the sequence one more time. Inhale, tabletop. Slide your hands under your shoulders. Belly in as you exhale to dog pose. Inhale to your knees, lift your chest and eyes. Exhale back to child's pose, walking the hands forward. So this is going to be the last upward dog. So come forward, and if it's a nice movement for you, it's not straining your back and you like it, feel free to stay for a moment. Now, if you don't like it, come right back to child's pose. Breathe. On the exhale, go back to child's pose, 
and I'm going to give you two options to rest. So the first one is to rest in child's pose. You can put the support under your head. You can rock here, maybe use the block under your head. Second option is to go back to your downward dog pose and hold it for a bit. So you may enjoy a few breaths holding your downward dog. Some options for downward dog is to bend both knees and really push up through your hips to pedal out the legs or turn your head side to side. And then from wherever you are, inhale to hands and knees. So if you're in downward dog, you'll come down. If you're in child's pose, you'll push up. And then we're going to come onto our back. So you can shift things around so that you can lie on your back. Maybe you put a little support under your neck or something. See what you like. And then once we get down onto the back, you can take a moment to hug your knees into your chest. So pick up your feet one at a time and draw them in. And you can circle your ankles. That may feel quite nice. You can do wrist circles. We did a lot of things on the wrists there. Wrist and ankle circles, joint rotations are very soothing. And just shake all that off. Shake your hands, shake your feet. And then please lower your feet down and keep the knees bent. And you can either rest your hands on the floor or on your belly. And if you like, many people find it a little more comfortable to have the feet slightly wider and the knees touching. So see what's nice for your back. And then take a moment to notice. To notice the space. You can glance around with your eyes. Just free breath. And maybe even a moment to close your eyes and remember that intention of kindness or self-compassion today. Some kindness. And then please blink your eyes open and pick your feet up off of the floor. You can draw the knees toward your chest. And what we're going to do is on the in-breath, we're going to lengthen the legs toward the ceiling. So push your heels up. See what you feel in your legs now. Exhale, bend your knees. And the next time you lift your legs up in the air, lift your arms up over your head to the floor behind you. So this L shape, exhale, bend your knees, lower your arms, is not unlike downward dog. So in both positions, the body makes this sort of L shape. You can feel that stretch along the back of the body. Let's do one more. Inhale, legs up, arms up, so the spine gets to lengthen, the legs, the arms, everything gets to lengthen, but there's no weight here on the shoulders and the legs, and it may be nicer for you. And then uh, take your, you can just hold on behind your knees, and we're going to lengthen the legs one at a time. We're going to start to widen them out to the side. So as this knee bends, I'm going to lift the other one, and I'm going to start to work them out in a V-shape And depending on how that feels for your hips and your inner legs, you can go wider if you like. You may feel like you're kind of rocking on your back, which might feel nice. If all that works for you, you might just keep doing it that way. Or if it's comfortable for you to do them both at the same time, on the in-breath, you can lift the legs. And on the exhale, as the knees bend, you can pull your belly in. It's fine to alternate. Inhale. So if you're alternating, you just breathe however you want to breathe. Exhale. And then if you like that wide leg position, you can lift them up and hold them for a couple of breaths. So inhale, lift. And if you like, you can hold. You can let them go wider if you have some space. You could rest your hands under your legs for a little support. Breathing. Keep using your abdomen here. And then on an exhale, bring your knees together. Bend the knees and lower your feet to the floor. See how your legs feel. All right, so we're going to do the bridge pose a few times. So for this pose, we have the feet lined up with the hip bones so that the knees and the hips, knees, and heels are all lined up pretty much. You can rest your hands down by your sides, palms down. And again, moving with the breath. Please inhale, push through your heels, let your hips lift up. Feel your chest lift and expand on this in-breath. And on your exhale, lower down, just one vertebra at a time, hugging in your belly. And we 
want to keep the neck even for this movement, so don't turn your head as you lift. Inhale, lift. Exhaling down. So again, it's another uplifting movement, even though we're lying on our back. We're going to hold one breath this time. So inhale, lift. As you hold on the exhale, hug your belly in. And on the inhale, you might push your elbows down into the floor. And then slowly exhale back down to the mat, pulling in your belly. And if it's comfortable for you, we'll stay two breaths the next time. So inhale, lift. Maybe you lift less. You know, make it accessible for you. Hold on the exhale. Stay on the inhale. Maybe a little lift of the chest. Stay on the exhale. So one more inhale. And then exhale down. Pause. Let your knees just rock gently, not too much, little baby windshield wipers. And we're going to let the legs rest in one of two positions for a, a few moments. So. The first option is to just have your feet wide and your knees touching. So if you have a little low back pain and your back doesn't particularly like the back bends, you could stay here. And this is a pretty neutral, comfortable position for the back. The second option would be to walk your feet together and let the two knees open out to the sides. And as the legs fall open, you can let the soles of the feet move so they're touching. And we'll just hold that for a moment. Now, if this hurts your hips or hurts your knees, you can slide the feet further away so you have less bend. That can be one option. Or another way is to just actually support your legs. So you could put a pillow blanket block under the outsides of your legs and then it's not quite so much of a stretch on the inner thighs. If Whatever you're choosing, take two or three breaths. And what I'd like you to think about, well, let's just take three breaths. And we'll try to take like the deepest breaths you've taken all day, and we're going to exhale through the mouth. So big inhale. And then sigh. So two more. Big sigh. One more. So take one more inhale, and on your exhale, if your knees are apart, go ahead and pull them back in. And then one at a time, pick your feet up, draw your knees into your chest, and one more little rocking movement. So we're going to massage the back here so you can rock and sway, or sometimes I'll just take in my knees and circle them around. So whatever feels good for your back, you can move your feet a little bit. And then we're going to begin to settle for the relaxation part. So once again, you can bring your feet to the floor one at a time. If it's nice, you can have the feet apart and the knees touching, or any way you can rest for a moment comfortably. Soften or close your eyes. Rest your hands on your belly. Free breath. Inviting that, again, feeling of kindness toward your body, some kindness toward yourself. And then as we begin to settle, uh, a moment to see how you want to support your body for Shavasana. So when you come into your relaxation, you want to be as comfortable as possible. So you might keep your knees bent, especially if you have a little low back pain. Or you can put something under the knees, a rolled up blanket, a pillow, or even rest your legs on a chair or a sofa. If you're comfortable lying flat, you don't have any discomfort in your back, you can do that. You can put a little support under your neck or Place an eye pillow over your eyes. Or even a blanket on top if you're chilly. So just taking a moment to settle once you get yourself situated. Again, one more breath with a sigh. So please inhale. Say ah this time. Ah. And give yourself permission to rest for the next five or ten minutes. Nothing to do. You might even fall asleep, and that's fine if you fall asleep. Just let your body rest. May you be safe. May you be happy. 
May you be healthy. May you live with ease. So today you might even say that in the first person to yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. So again, I encourage you to stay here for another five minutes or even ten minutes if you have it. If you feel like you have to hop right up now, just please try to stay for 12 breaths. I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.